Arizona State University, hey, used to have a good reputation. That is until they planned a big event starring the favorite hater of Jews in Israel in the Congress, Rashida Tlaib. Speaking of which, there is some sanity today. Arizona State University, a couple days ago, just canceled their huge event with the most vile woman to ever be in the Congress. And I'm referring to this person, Rashida Tlaib. She was the headline speaker, and she was going to come address the Arizona State University students to continue her call for genocide against Jews and Israel and so on. Now, this is after she was just censured by the Congress for her anti-Semitism, right? She's a vile human being. She never should have been elected to anything, right? And she was censored for defending Hamas after the massacre last month in Israel. This talk had been organized by the Arizona Palestine Network, which is not an on-campus organization. She was going to speak there on Friday, and her address was going to be Palestine is an American issue <laughs> event. And it was canceled because the group is not an ASU group, Arizona State University. So they got her out on a, on a technicality. But the truth is, she was going to come and talk about how the massacre was justified and how Israel is an apartheid state. And Israel is committing genocide and lie, 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 lie with a kafia around her neck, screaming at Americans at an American university that we ought to be glorifying terrorism. But fortunately, she got booted on a technicality. Chances are they'll figure out a way to bring her back. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're going to work it out. They'll probably just find, you know, they'll, or they'll they'll go even as far as go ahead and starting another group and have it set up for next week or the following week and then have her come in and talk about it, the destruction of Israel and her hatred for America. And she's already been censored. Personally, they should have skipped the censure part and just went ahead straight to the expulsion. She should be removed as a member of Congress when you're openly supporting a terrorist group. Make it make sense, Barry. This I, I look at this stuff and I'm like, wait a minute. She's openly supporting a terrorist group. She's on a Facebook page, Barry, that has been taught, promoting the destruction of America, destruction of Israel, literally hating on, a group on, of on. people. Let me interrupt you a minute. That was from the other day's show when we revealed yeah. what, what Will's referring to is a private Facebook page that Rashida Tlaib belonged to that nobody knew about. And on this Facebook page, they're calling for the elimination and the killing of Jews. Yes. And, yes. and she's a member of this group. And she's been in there what, for six years. She's six been years. in this group. Yes, six years. Six years she's been in this group. And Facebook allowed the group to thrive, allow it to thrive. And if you create a group today and it's pro Trump, pro American, as soon as you say something like, Trump needs to take back America or something like that in the group. They shut it down. Now, how dare you incite this type of violence? What do you mean? What do you mean? Take back America? What? What? Because I believe in the back of their minds, the only way you can take back something what they're on the verge of trying to destroy is to fight back. And they don't want if they don't want American people to fight back. And you know what was in interesting, Barry? Those of us that are on the right, conservative Christians, Republicans, Jewish people that are on the right. Black people on the right, white people on the right. We don't want to physically harm anybody. We don't want to destroy anything. We want America to remain beautiful. But all of these people on the left, they are completely fine with the destruction of the United States of America if that means their demonic ways get to rule. Amazing. I hope to God there's some sanity at ASU. So when she comes back around, like you're talking about, because they're going to do it. Oh, yeah. Exactly what you just said. They're going to do it where... New group next yep. week, right? And when that happens, they're going to show up and they're going to propose a guest speaker, an extraordinary person from the Congress to come. And you know as well as I do what that means. She's going to hate, 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 hate 
because that's what she does. So my, my biggest thing is like anyone who's pouring money into this university, as soon as she show up, they should reject that university 100%. Now, freedom of speech still applies here. She can go say whatever it is she want to say. But the people that's funding this university, they don't have to put their money into it. 100% right. Walk your pocketbook to someplace else. Yep. Send it to a place that believes in freedom. Yep. That believes in the Constitution, that believes in, well, God. Yes. Just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a couple of those left, maybe. <laughs>